we're going to do here, guys, is this is this isn't scrap meat, but it's essentially scrap for the purposes today. This is all just cleaned up nice meat. I'm going to chunk this up just like you're going to do for the grind. Now, the reason I'm going to do this is I'm going to put this in gallon Ziploc bags that are going to average around five pounds. So through the rest of the winter, spring, whenever I've got time to work with my meat, I've got five pound bags. Most of your spices, your pre-made jerky seasonings or sausage seasonings are going to be in even increments of, you know, 10, 15, 20, 25 pound batches. So we're going to go ahead and take our chamber back bags. These are thawed out for the most part, but they're still very cold. The recipe that we're working with today calls for 15 pounds of meat. The best thing I think on the burger jerky that we're going to pipe is very lean. I don't like to add any fat to it at all. I went ahead and took this part of the apparatus of the main machine. This comes off very nicely. I loosen it up here and take this. I put this in the freezer overnight. Everything here is absolutely ice cold. I'm not grinding very fatty meat, so it's not going to be an issue, but if you're not careful, you'll get some buildup in the chamber as it comes back out. So we're going to go ahead and fire this baby up and get going. Awesome thing about this is our meat's all prepped. There's almost no work, no stress. I've got no sinew, no fat, no nothing else in this. It's just coming out absolutely perfectly. We're now nearing one of the final stages. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our meat in here and mix it up. We're going to use a pre-made spice blend that has the curing agent in it, pre-measured, set for a 15 pound recipe. So I'm going to mix this up. We don't want to do this too much. If you overwork your meat, it'll get really tough. I'm going to shut it off. But before I'm done, I'm going to want to make sure that my recipe is right. So I'll take a little bit of this aside. I'll make a small patty and I'll fry this up and I'll do it for a quality check. So now we're going to use the jerky gun. There's two different ways I found that work pretty good to, to load these. You can shove it into the meat. This stuff was in the refrigerator overnight. It's beautifully set up. It is perfectly ready to go and you can do that. Now my problem is, is I always seem like I never quite get the gun as efficiently full as I could doing it this way. And it makes a big giant mess on the end of the neck. Okay, what I've learned over the last few years is my stuffer attachment or my stuffer can also work twofold and use it to pump my jerky gun. As I tighten this up, I'm going to line it up. So what we're going to do here is we're piping this. And if you've ever caulked your molding or anything else, it's kind of the same thing. I'm just going to kind of slowly go. So, so this is my first tray. This was my first fill of the tube. You'll notice that it works out. One tube with the right consistency is one tray. 